Hey everyone, Value Add Mike here today to discuss how to vet your real estate sponsor. For those who don't know, my name is Mike Taravella, Value Add Mike, and me and my business partners manage over $80 million in commercial real estate. And today I really wanted to share, as we're starting off the new year, I'm sure many people have goals and in investing passively, but I wanted to share a few ways to vet your sponsor. And so the first thing that I would highly recommend everyone doing is seeing the past performance of that sponsorship group. Things to consider are, have they ever lost money in a sale? Have, how many capital calls have they had? How many years in operation have they been in? All of those things are super important because if an investor has ever lost money, bad news. Capital calls, not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but... You need to know as a passive investor of how liquid do you need to be if you're investing with this group. And lastly, just understanding the performance and the growth plan. So just make sure that you're vetting all of those on the front end because then this, if those are red flags, then you can not, don't have to proceed with the rest. I think the second thing that I would do is getting references. So I think it's important to understand when investing with a group, how does that group communicate? What are their rhythms? Have investors liked or disliked the performance? And now past performance doesn't always correlate with future, but it's making sure that how well do they deliver bad news or good news and just really making sure that they're transparent through the whole process because that could be a very problematic way. And I just don't want to see you as an investor get hurt through that process. And lastly, I think one of the few ways that I've seen and heard people actually do but I think is a very, tr very powerful thing that needs to be done more often is doing background checks on the sponsorship group. Uh, I've seen uh, even Googling because the last thing you want to see is a sponsor get indicted for fraud, uh, have previous felonies or any securities issues. So it's just really important that you make sure that you're investing with the right groups and making sure that you keep your money protected because I think a lot of people – Want, when they invest, they always look at the upside, but it's always you got to reduce your downside risk as well. So if you have any more questions, post them in the comments. Make sure you're clicking on the link to subscribe to our uh, newsletters. And until then, we'll see you next time.